Man, are you hungry? Yeah, I'm hungry. Where do you want to go? I want to go to the Conk House in St. Augustine on the water. They have really good Bloody Marys, lunch specials, and they have slips for rent. Yeah, let's go. All right, guys, that was me being dumb. On a serious note, here's a Evo getting ready to roll out the door. Uh, uh, multiple boat owner. We've become friends with him over the years. Um, this is Mr. David Ponce's boat, owner of the Conk House in St. Augustine. You know, there's a lot of cool joints in the state of Florida. His is just another one that's worth a stop if you ever find yourself in St. Augustine with the food, the atmosphere, the intercoastal waterways. Sounds like a commercial, but I really want to go there right now. And I'd like to go there by Evo. So let's talk about his boat. When he came to me, he wanted fast, shallow, simple, still running rough water. Um, he's actually come advantage. Uh, so here you go. So on the bow, we have the Chola motor going on. We have the uh, aluminum upgrade on the trailer. We have the oversized casting platform with the lean bar. It's a T up front. He does have the traditional center style pop-up because he's not gonna have the Chola motor on it a lot. He also wanted the piano hinges throughout the entire boat. Center console, non-jump seat. Gotta have a Simrad, he's got the 12-inch Simrad. He chose to do the Etson wheel, the hook puller, switches on top instead of inside. He does have the Merc 115 trim tabs in front. Um, the other thing is, is he's got what we call the fatty fit finds. These are probably the fattest rod holders on anything out there. And they're definitely uh, one off. They're custom made, done by hand. It's a pain, but they look amazing. They function. So if this is uh, on your wants and needs list, if this becomes your need list, you can definitely add those. Then you have the V-Marine push pull holders, the polished. You have the cup holders on the side of the gunnel. Then you have the seat, which he has, by the way, hard mounted, and he has the backrest made for him. He's a bigger guy than me, and we still have a, some fit and finish stuff going on through the boat in detail, but we wanted to film it before the guys start marking it up. Then we have, you know, your standard live oil in the back, your standard hatches I've always seen. Swim platform, he's got a transducer on the back. But here's the cool thing. Custom painted 115 uh, with custom decals. This thing just looks sick sitting still. Clamp on rod holders. I've always been a fan of those because you can clamp them on, get different angles that you want, move them to the front leg, the back leg. He has the uh, engine plate from uh, V Marine. Uh, this one is blue with a tarpon on it. Uh, our camera guy's got some pictures of it, but you can see a little video right there. Then he's got the Sasic style platform with one step, no jack plate. And by the way, this boat's already been propped at Lake X. On a glass calm day in fresh water, it was hitting high 59. You throw a little salt water in there and you throw uh, a little bit of ripple, this thing will definitely hit over 60. But at the end of the day, it's not about that. He just wanted fast and controllable. So his average speeds are gonna be around that 56, 55 mark. But I say it all the time, you know, we build what you guys want. And as long as it doesn't jeopardize the safety of you and the integrity, of the boat or the brand, we've always been down for it. So, uh, personal shout out to David. I love you, brother. Uh, we've had some fun in Louisiana, and I know we're gonna have a lot of fish jumping off of this thing too. Can't wait to take it down to the Keys. All you guys out there on the fence, here's another one getting ready to go. And next time you're uh, rolling through St. Augustine, stop at the Conk House. Y'all take care. See ya.